is my solution to baby watching outside. Put them in cages so they can't escape. Right, Callie? Yeah, you tell them. These are your pool toys, but the pool's not out today. What are we gonna do today, Liam? Okay. We'll slowly work on throwing these toys out of the pen. And we'll see how that works for you. Callie's gonna work on eating some sticks. What's daddy gonna work on? I'm going to work on that driveway. I did half of it yesterday. I didn't get any time lapse footage of it because I didn't have much time to work on it. I just wanted to focus on getting it done. But I still got about half left to do. But I gotta watch this one. Nobody here to help me watch him today. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I know in the pressure washing video I talked about safety a lot and safety is very important to me. I used to work construction, I'm just generally outdoorsy, like skin on your knee kind of guy. So I take safety pr pretty seriously, though you might see me do a lot of things that are considered not safe. If I don't feel safe doing something, then I stop. I wasn't wearing closed toed shoes this time. I should have. I admit that I should have been wearing closed toed shoes. It gets a little crazy. Like you saw, I had the baby in the playpen in the yard and the dog on the lead, and I was trying to tidy up and get ready for his birthday this weekend. I'm doing my absolute best, and I do consciously think about it a lot. So I hope that clears things up if anybody's worried about me. So Liam just went down. I got the monitor right over here. He's rolling around. He should be, he'll go down about, he'll fall asleep about. 20 minutes or so around 3:45, and then Louise gets home at 5 30 hopefully he sleeps till then uh, he usually does usually has an hour and a half two hour hour to two hour nap in the afternoon depending on how much he already slept that day and he usually sleeps about 14 15 hours a day like a good baby should and he sleeps all the way through the night always always which is really nice really awesome we appreciate him for doing that just wanted to also say, he's the star of the show today. He was doing good, hanging out in his little bouncer. 
and he loves the water. I got him a pool. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you might have saw that. Yeah. Poor little Liam. He can't even sit up. He's so tired. Oh, there he goes. Back down. Sweet boy. The next thing that we got going on today after I just talked your head off for 20 minutes is drinking out of mason jar. We're going to try to build some cornhole boards, but I don't know if I have enough material. Let's go check it out. Jigsaw, but no blades. I got sawzall blades, but no sawzall. What I think I'm gonna have to do is make a handsaw out of this long sawzall blade. the baby for a little while and she got home and we talked about stuff did some stuff and now we're back in the garage I'm barefooted and wearing pajamas we got the cornhole things built they're both here so yeah those should last a day at least <laughs> and I uh, might paint them up, sand them up, paint them up, but not today. Um, yeah, the garage is a bit of a mess. This camera, I thought I had the battery charging, but I didn't. We need to get some backup batteries for that thing. Um, I broke my phone today. Can't show you because. This is the only camera I have at the moment. But, uh, we're gonna do something else. Grill time. We got a little ghetto, ancient, half working, busted up grill here. It's only mostly rusty. But we got some marinated flank steak and some of my homemade marinated chicken. My brother took half of it with him.
no more 